must think that I'm stupid You must think that I'm a fool You must think that I'm new to this But I have seen this all before Never gonna let you close to me Even though you mean the most to me Every time I open up it hurts So I'm never gonna get too close Hey what's up guys it's me Saeed here back with another video. First of all I'm really sorry for the inconsistent uploads. I hope that now I can upload at least one video per week. Anyways let's have a look on the best android apps for the last month of the year. Without wasting your time let's get started. So the first app on the list is Launcher Launcher. It is a new minimal and an open source launcher which looks and feels a lot like the Google Pixel Launcher. That includes a similar home screen, app drawer and Google Now access. The launcher also adds icon pack support, various customization options, adaptive icons for Android 7.0 and up and more. Though the app is in beta right now, however, it still works rather well. It's not often that Google's apps come out to iOS before Android but Motion Skills did as it was designed to stabilize the live photos so they would come out smoother. Now it's out on Android too letting you shoot a short video clip which the app stabilizes. Clips that you shoot can be saved as a video or looping GIF and then shared on social media and Motion Skills also lets you use a fast forward mode which will condense up to a minute of footage into a shorter clip. This too is stabilized to keep it smooth and you can pick up the playback speed. It's fast too so the footage is stabilized in real time so you don't need to wait it to process your clip and it's completely free. Next app on the list is Icon Pack Mixture. So it actually mixes the shapes of the icons. It starts off by choosing the best icons from all of the installed icon packs and lets you pick the best ones. Though the initial process is a bit lengthy, the end result is a mixture of both class and style, provided you have picked up the best icon packs. So the next app which we have here is called Datali. It is a really cool app. On the home screen you get three options which are the data saver, manage data and find Wi-Fi. The data saver option is really helpful. If you turn it on you can save a lot of data by blocking apps from consuming data from the background. It's a really helpful app by Google and if you are on mobile data then you should definitely check this one out. The first thing someone does when they steal a phone is to power it off. So this app instantly blocks all of the tracking abilities you might be able to do. Lock.io is a really useful app that blocks the ability to turn off your phone as well as other apps a thief might want to access. Next we have Mikasu. It transforms your photos into artworks using the styles of the most famous artists like Picasso, Van Gogh and more. It is like the Prisma app more like a modern version. Using neural networks and artificial intelligence helps you bring the most famous artists to your mobile to repaint your memorable moments. A really cool app for photo editing so you should check this out. Filesco is a file manager app from Google. Honestly, it is a really useful app. Besides being a place to access your files, it also helps you clean up space by getting rid of the really used app and duplicate media. Also, you can easily share your files offline and moreover, the whole app is under 6 MB. Let's browse the web like it's 2005. No, literally, Retro Browser is a web browser that allows you to pick a year and then browse the web as it would look in that time. Just browse the web like you would with any other browser and marvel how far we have come. A really interesting app so you should surely check this out. With CleanFox, you can clean your inbox and the environment. Well, here's how it works. Use the app to delete old spam and newsletter emails simply and quickly. As the app says, doing so reduces your carbon footprint by 10 grams of CO2 per email, which helps the environment of course. Plus, when you invite a friend to try the app, the company will plant a tree once the person joins. Hopefully this is true and it's a win for you and it's green too. 
Go check it out. What more could you ask for? Graphi's picture drawing in Latin is a simple but powerful tool which lets you scan your pictures for its prominent colors. You can create as many palettes as you want including selecting specific regions to be scanned with in more detail to generate different palettes. Well that is pretty much it for the best Android app series for this year. Hopefully you liked the video and if you did make sure to hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So it's the android.tech here and I'm signing off right now. Peace. I'm sorry I don't pay you no attention Tonight I'ma show you off, off, off Tonight I'ma show you off